first thing you're gonna wanna do is um, put the motherboard in. You just place the motherboard in, then you tighten up these four screws, and they are T8, in case you're wondering what size screw this is. This is a T8, but you already know that if you took the Xbox apart. So T8, tighten those four screws up. Um, this RF modulator, it, it slides right on and off. Like you just pretty much take it off, put it back on. There are two screws, one right here. So we're gonna start from the base. Okay, first thing you're gonna wanna do is make sure you got everything plugged up. Now you're gonna wanna plug up the fan. Make sure you got all of the uh, SATA and data cables plugged up to the drive. Then you're gonna bend this piece over right here. Now, there are some blue rubber bands. Well, it's a rubber band that the cords go through. You're gonna wanna make sure it's in this little slot. You see that little slot? Yeah, you're gonna wanna make sure the rubber band's in that slot and all the cords are secure in every slot that they're supposed to be in. Now basically what you're gonna to wanna to do is, you're gonna to wanna to take this piece of plastic and you're gonna slide it in place. And it goes right next to the fan, just press it down. Okay, now that we have that in place, you're gonna to wanna to take the fan guard. And basically what the fan guard does is, uh, it guards the fan and hold, it holds everything else in place. Now you're saying which way? You're gonna put tape, you're gonna be able to tell which way to put the fan guard in because of this little piece right here. See this little piece that sticks up where the screws go in at? Yeah, you're gonna wanna put it facing the RF modulator which is facing the outside of the Xbox 360. You're gonna be able to tell because it's where the screws go in at. So, turn it around. There you go. You're gonna place that around. Now you're gonna have to nudge it in a little bit because it's gonna be tight. But it's all right, because we, 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 we got it. Okay, next thing you're gonna wanna do is put in the drive. Here we go. We got our Xbox 360 drive. Make sure all of the rubber pieces are around the corner because this is what helps keeps the drive in place and grip down to the motherboard. Okay, gonna turn it sideways. You're gonna put, pretty much put the cables in, the data and the SATA cables, you know which one belongs to which by the shapes. So here we go. And the colors, white, black for black, white for white. No racist. <laughs> Okay, that was a lame joke. Sue me. Put the black one in the black hole or slot. Put the white one in the, the white slot. There you go. Press the drive. Make sure it's in firm. Everything looks good. Now what we're going to do is we're going to hold. See this, this cable that's sticking up right here? We're going to place it down. And we're going to take our black screw that we pulled out earlier. Let me turn it around so you can see it. Take the black screw. And we're going to place it right here. Now this screw is a T10, so it's going to require a Torx 10 screwdriver. Screw that in tight. It only takes about four or five turns and we're good to go on that. Now, the next step you're going to want to do is to make sure that the piece of plastic is tight in, on the cage. Now this helps keep all the cords and everything in place. Now we're going to take one of our T, T10 screws, the small small ones and we're going to basically push down and line it up to this hole right here you see this hole a screw goes inside this hole which connects to the piece of plastic hold it up real fast there you go once you have that in tighten it up Now that piece of plastic is held in place. Then you're gonna to wanna to take the chassis and put it on. Now you're gonna to wanna to put it on before you put this USB jack port in because you don't wanna, it's gonna be hell if you don't, basically. And I, you'll see why in a second. And this fits right in place. You know you get it in, flat down. You're gonna flip this over, slide our USB jack right in this slot. Now we're going to take another one of the screws, which is our T, T10, another small T10 screw, which should be your last one. You go tighten it up. Goes right in this little slot right here. You'll see you can't miss it. Now flip the Xbox over. Now we have seven screws that hold the Xbox 360 
motherboard onto the cage. You got one A. You're going to see a little letters by it. So this is how you're going to know. You got A, G, M, N, P, R, T. Those are your letters that the H screws go in. Once again, you got T, R, P, N, M, G, and A. So you put the small screws in each one of those slots to hold the motherboard in. You're going to have other slots along the line. You're going to get confused, but these are for the screws that hold the motherboard and the Xbox to the outside of the case. Now, we got all that um, in place. It's time to put the faceplate on. Okay, now let's put the Xbox 360 faceplate on. Basically, what you're going to want to do is you're going to open up this little beige piece. Now, it's going to be a piece that's connected to this connector, faceplate connector, which is a little bit darker. Now, you're going to want to gently push it out. It slides back and forth. Push it out really, really gentle. Be real, be real gentle with it because it will, it will come off. Okay, now what you're going to do is take, take the piece that's going to slide in. Remember the one I just showed you? It's going to slide it in that slot. And you're going to know when this is all the way through. And I like to take a flat head screwdriver or something and push it down. You're going to want to push see that little blue piece that we push down. It goes on the back. They help, make the, they help secure it and make sure that it doesn't come out while you're moving the Xbox. So you're going to push that little blue piece down with a flat head screwdriver. Get the flat head screwdriver and do it. Sometimes you try to do it with your hand. You may push too hard. It's going to take forever. So just slide it down. You see how easy it went down? It was pretty easy. It was nothing, nothing hard or anything. So, we're going to make sure the faceplate securely in place first. There we go. Now, we pretty much got everything working on the, on the 360. Now, all we have to do is put the front on, the back, and the sides, and we're good to go. Now, next thing we're going to do, we're going to put the top on. Let me adjust the camera some so you get a better view. First thing you're going to want to do, after you got everything in place, you got the faceplate in place, you're going to want to put the top on. Now, the top, you're going to be able to tell what part is the top because it has little little holes for the screws and basically it's pretty much self-explanatory you can tell which which part goes where it'll lock in then you're going to pull your face plate out a little bit while you're doing this because the face plate is going to go over it and snap in so once you do that snap the face plate on and it goes together you can tell smooth hold the faceplate in place now you got it what you got to do now is flip it over ah make sure everything's good now you're going to put your screws that connect the cage and the motherboard and everything which are T10 screws the long T10 screws now that's they go in slots H, L, C, and B. It's four of them. They're pretty much one, two, three, four. They go around the Xbox. You'll be able to tell. Now it's time to put the back on to the Xbox 360. Now you're going to want to slide this up, slides right on top of the faceplate. Turn it around so I get a better grip. Snap that one in, snap that side in. You're going to hear it click down, click everything down. Okay. Now that you have everything secure, you got your faceplate on, got your sides, got your motherboard secure, you're going to want to put the sides on. Now, there are two black side pieces, but you see this one is one with the slot. You see this one with the slot? The side piece with equal, equal proportion slot holes is the side. You see this one, it has, it has one that's small, it has one that's big. It doesn't go on this side, it goes on the other side. But this one, all three slot holes are the same, and that's how you know it goes to this one, this side. Now you're just going to want to flip it down. Snaps right in. Push it down. And you, basically this, you know, this side panel goes to this one because it has this hole right here. And this hole, you can put an extra hard drive in, show you that in a later video.
so I just gotta bend it get to go around gotta get a little forceful with it okay after we get that situated you're gonna want to put the uh, the black plastic piece the side panel covers on and you're gonna take the the smaller one of the two place it in the holes it's easy to see how to do it place it in place the little pieces right inside these holes push down sometimes the side panel comes out a little bit but just press it down while you're doing it then you're gonna take the other half the longer half place it in push down locks right in and now that half is done but turn it around we're gonna do the same thing that we did on the other side we're gonna basically put the side panels in and you're gonna know that you're gonna put this this side right here with the little indention should be facing the front of the Xbox. And we're just gonna basically squeeze it into the slots like exactly how we did the other one. So I'll just towel down some. Pops right in place. Gonna hit snap. Everything went pretty good on this one. Okay, then you're gonna want to turn around and do the exact same thing you did with the piece of plastic. Now you're gonna take this part with one prong. It should be facing the front of the Xbox, front of the Xbox, and this side with the two prongs should be facing the back. And you're gonna slide it right into the slots. It's gonna pop. And there you have it. Um, that is how you put an Xbox 360 back together from scratch, pretty much. Thanks for watching the video, guys. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Okay? Thanks. Uh, one love. I'm out. Xbox Slave. Ooh.